You're watching the 50 states of AR-15 on Big Gunner 81. Brought to you by BATArms.com. Welcome everybody to the 50 states of AR-15 project. We're here out in uh, Little Canada, Minnesota today with uh, the Wilsons of, of uh, City and Arms. And uh, so, it's a family owned operation. So we'll start with, uh, who wants to go first? Start with me. So wait, you're, you're basically the one who founded this operation originally. Right? That's correct. So tell us a little bit about, about your history and how you got into the world of manufacturing and guns and all that kind of stuff. Well, I've been a shooter since I was five years old. Um, always interested in firearms. Um, I started out going to school to college, didn't really care for that, whatever, did three years. And then I finally went to, decided to go to the Colorado School of Trades for Gunsmith. I graduated there in the early 80s and decided to get into that. I came back home, Pat and I got married, and went to work in a machine shop. I really liked that, so we worked there for a while in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, then we moved to Twin Cities where I went to Dunwoody Industrial Institute for Tool and Die. Uh, worked around the industry for quite a few years, and three years ago I decided to get back to my roots and get back into firearms. And so we started Obsidian Arms. Okay. And um, so what are some of the roles here? What, else, what do you guys think here that you do? Um, I kind of run the machine shop and oversee machining and production rates what we're going to work on, designing of firearms, what we do and how they come about. Um, Pat came on board uh, a year and a half, two years ago. She retired from her job and she came in as CEO for management. And now we're ready to bring our son Eric in to start learning the ropes on both the machine and the design function and do our IT work. And then he will finally, when we step aside, hopefully take over the company. Very cool. So um, tell us a little about some of the products you offer right now on the AR-15 platform. We are, let's see, we started out doing the AR platforms. We build a complete upper lower billet selection of uh, the receivers. And we also do hand guards, our own design. Um, we also make some of the internal parts, cam pins, firing pins, barrel nuts, uh, gas blocks. We have three different kinds of muzzle brakes. We have our thunder brake. Um, we have our standard um, three gun brake. And then we have a brake, we call it a thunder brake, with a hidden brush brush. And okay. they go from all the way from 223 up to 45 and 50 cal. So a hidden crush washer kind of makes it like a seamless transition from the barrel to the muzzle. That's correct. It's nice, smoother flow and it just dresses it up a little bit. And it's cool. You mentioned three gun too. Now, I've noticed you also offer a couple things that are not in the AR 15 specifically, like uh, with the P uh, SIG 320 and P250 base plates. Yes, uh, a little over a year and a half ago, we decided to um, get in, make some accessories for the Sig Sauer P320, and we are doing extended pad base plates. Uh, we had some uh, people asking for them. The original one is a plastic base plate, and uh, law enforcement doesn't really care for that. They tend to break when they hit the concrete. So we came out with a, an aluminum base pad that is fully hard coated. Other three gun shooters like the extra weight, so when they drop their mag, they're dropping them. Oh, yeah, sure. So, when you mag, yes, well, you have some yeah, yeah, yeah. And we offer colors um, to personalize that we've got um, red, blue, black, um, kind of a silver color, and a little green into our green. So people are asking for green. Very cool. So. Actually, you also have some for the, uh, the subcompact. Well, yeah, we do. Yes. It's a little bit different design. I think it's two piece. Remember, it's a right? two piece base. The uh, the magazine on the subcompact gears curled in on the bottom, so it can't be a standard one like the standard full size P320 or carry size. So we came up with a way to take care of that, and so that it's a solid fit and good attachment. Very okay, cool. So what are some of the things coming down the road for City Arms in the future? I mentioned Eric's going to be on board. Kind of taking reins at some point. Yes. So tell us a little about that. What kind we of products have, things? Yeah, we are getting also, besides three gun, we're getting into precision rifles. Okay. Um, I have always been this kind of somewhat uh, a bench rest type shooter, and we make a, um, a precision rifle and a gas gun AR 15 platform. We also have a, uh, a bolt action clone of uh, short action on the market for. Um, long-range sniper rifles, F-class shooting, that sort of thing. Um, that's coming out in a standard model, just a straight tube. 
and we also build one with an integral Picatinny rail, 20 minute of angle, and integral recoil walk. Down the road, that will come out as a long action and a magnum action for the 338 or cool. And I know we were going to talk about competition earlier, Riga and so forth. What kind of um, uh, activities do you do with Riga yourself? We're shooting locally in a club match uh, under Hawkeye at night, okay. and it's on Wednesday nights. We get a, it's a good entry level uh, venue for new shooters, and we get some very experienced shooters that like the practice uh, on weeknights, whatever. We also have shot with the Minnesota Free Gun Group on their uh, weekend matches locally. So, and we also um, the Hawkeye Knights and Minnesota Three Gun or whoever is Forest Lake is bringing in uh, Three Gun Nation next year. So when you oh very cool. So when you say we, how many of you actually participate in Three Gun? Uh, Eric and I so far, we're trying to talk that in. I'm interested. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. It's good to know. Well, um, is there anything else you guys like to add throughout there about the company or anything we didn't cover? Um, we are going to be coming up, hopefully this fall and this winter, we're going to be bringing out a larger size of the AR platform that will handle short action cartridges such as a 308, um, 65 Creedmoor, 260 Remington, uh, that sort of stuff, and the big board cartridges. 458 SOCOM, 450 Bushmaster, and the 12.7 F42. It will take up the recoil and be just a little bit larger size platform, but still be smaller than an AR-10. So where can people find you at, like online and so forth, to get a hold of you and check out your products? You can all be found on obsidianarms.com. Um, we have a Facebook page, which we frequently update with new information when things come out, what we're up to. But yeah, basically everything can be found on our website. We also, um, people are asking for different colors. Um, okay. We're trying to get flat dark earth. Um, our handguards, people love our handguards. Um, our popular one is blue right now. We, oh, yeah. we sell it across the United States, even Hawaii, we've got orders in Hawaii. But people are asking for flat dark earth, um, all dark green, those types of colors. So if you want to get into that and get more of it, it's kind of a. Is the handguards are circle? Um, the handguards are the hard coated. Hard coated. Okay. Yeah. If yeah. we have an anodizer locally, that will do color hard coat, which is very difficult to do. Oh, yes. Yeah. And so. um, they, there's one that's working on a flat darker. They haven't quite perfected it yet, but it, I we'll think it's there. coming. We'll get there. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you again for the time. And uh, we're supporting 50 States VR 15 project, which you all see the receiver set in the project as the uh, Minnesota rifle was you know, put together. So again, thank you guys. Good. And, uh, Good. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Until next time, go and have some fun shooting.